All right, we're going to take a quick look at how to create a new form using the advanced forms add-on for Concrete 5. Um, you can see that I'm logged into an installation of Concrete 5. Uh, I went just to the dashboard and then to the advanced forms page here on the left. Um, and since I haven't created any forms yet, all we see in here is a blank page. Um, and then, so all I need to do is create a form. It's pretty basic. Click on create a new form. Now, when this window comes up, I'll have three options. Basic contact form, advanced contact form, and if you have data display installed, you'll see an option to install a data or to create a data display form. Basically, these three options will end up creating the same thing. Uh, it'll just give you different options as you're walking through it for the first time. The basic contact form will only ask you for uh, form name and an email address. The advanced contact form will give you a little bit more um, options initially in your setup. And again, the the data display uh, creates the form in such a way uh, as you would probably want to set it up if you're using it for data display integration. Um, we'll go ahead and do advanced form since that's the one that will give me the most options and we can see how this works. So I'll click that, give it a, a name, a new form, asking me should, it, should this form send email notifications, I'm going to say yes. You can see it automatically populates it with my username and a subject. Uh, you can change those out if you want though. Pretty easily. Click continue. After the form is submitted, let's say I want to display a message. Thanks for submitting the form. Continue to the last step. And I've got a few options here that are populated with some defaults asking if I want to use CAPTCHA, sure we'll do that. We got submit for my submit text, an asterisk for required field indicator, and uh, this is a red color for the required field indicator. So I click create form and you can see that we've got a new form here called my new form. Um, now if I go into the settings by clicking on the form title you can see this form is essentially it's the same form uh, that you would end up with if I would have chosen basic contact form or data display form it just gave me certain options in setting it up initially uh, but you can still even if I were to have created a basic contact form or a data display form I could still specify the options that it gave me during that setup process